फाइव सेकेंड्स टू गो स्टार्ट ए पर्सन हु इज नोट डीलिंग इन एन एक्सपर्ट वे विद ए स्पेसिफिक सब्जेक्ट विल नेचुरली गो इन फॉर जनरलाइजेशन आई एम नोट एक्सपर्ट एंड सो आई कैन से मैनी थिंग्स अबाउट मैनी सब्जेक्ट्स लुकिंग एट दिस इंस्टीट्यूट फ्रॉम ए डिस्टेंस एंड लुकिंग एट इट्स पब्लिकेशंस इट सीम्स टू मी दैट इट हैज बीन मेकिंग गुड प्रोग्रेस वी हैव बीन टोल्ड दैट सिमिलर इंस्टीट्यूट्स इन अदर कंट्रीज हैव बैगन टू एप्रिशिएट द वर्क ऑफ दिस वन there can be no doubt about the importance of the work which you are called upon to do i am glad that from a small annual business session this gathering taking advantage of the presence of so many distinguished persons who have come here today will spread out into a conference on a specific subject matter namely recruitment and training for the public services i feel that this is something really solid and worthwhile i am quite sure that it will bear results it may be that the results are not very obvious but it will in any case be an earnest discussion of subjects of high importance i often wonder how we should approach these subjects there are several possible approaches to them the technicians approach the professors approach and the man in the streets approach i believe that most of you who have gathered here are either of the administrator type with actual experience or the professor type both types are very important both having a fund of knowledge at their disposal it may be said however that neither of these two types represents the man in the streets approach i do not think the man in the streets approach is likely to be well informed or even very helpful however it is obviously an important approach because it is the man in the street or the man in the field who counts because after all it is him that the administration is ultimately meant to serve you must always remember that aspect if you do not you will have no solid ground under your feet it is worthwhile to repeat this because the administration has only has to be good but has also to be felt to be good by the people affected that should always be so but it is necessary in a fully democratic setup because this is being fast developed not only in this country but in many others too now what is self government we have a parliament which is sovereign which normally speaking is elected every 5 years it is obvious that the vast majority of the measures considered and passed by parliament are in a way being considered by the 360 million people in the country if i may say so the people's representatives tend to function on the basis of a feeling of the general pulse of the people the later have got the power to kick out a government or a member 
after a certain period of time as it is important to keep the government or parliament in check again there also exists a general feeling or awareness in the people that things are being done according to their wishes or in consultation with them in fact they have begun to feel that they are governing themselves this is only partly true but it is true enough in the sense that there is a check on the government and also on parliament and that it can be kicked out if it went too far in any direction therefore it behaves and tries to keep in line with public opinion by and large a parliament or a government does what is reasonable without really making a reference to the people so long as it gives the impression that democracy has been preserved and that people are being consulted that their wishes are being respected all is well but whether they are actually consulted or not is another matter if they get the impression that things are being imposed upon them then friction arises apart from doing his work the administrator whether he is low down or high up in the scale must give the impression even if that impression is not cent percent correct that he is working through the public will and carrying it out of course this cannot always be done the administrator cannot carry out everybody's will but he must give the broad impression that he is functioning in accordance with the public will always thinking of public grievances trying to remedy them and consulting the people whether such an impression is created or not depends upon the manner in which the administration functions it is quite essential in a democracy to create this impression in the interest of both the public and the administrator otherwise democracy rebels perhaps not immediately but after a period of time this applies generally to all types of administrative activities but it applies more so to work of a social character which affects the people at large in many ways here stop